Welcome to the Expert Guides Tutorial Services YouTube channel. I am Victor Kasing, one of the lecturers for Mathematics 1. To quickly introduce myself, my name is Victor Kasing. I am a current third-year medical student at the University of Santo Tomas Faculty of Medicine and Surgery. I earned my pre-med degree, PS Biology, also in UST. I was a dean's lister in the entire academic year 2016 to 2017. I was able to research about the taxonomy and phytochemical properties of Anunnaze plants. I was also an executive assistant to the president of the College of Science Student Council. I was also part of the Junior Council Children's Museum and Library Incorporated. And during my high school years, I graduated among the top 10% of my batch. And lastly, I passed all big four college entrance exams. Our topic for today is order of operations. So the order of operations enables us to perform the four basic operations in an organized manner. Madali lang kasi if you're going to perform addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division on its own. Pero paano kapag pinagsama-sama na sila lahat sa isang single na equation? Sino ba dapat yung mauna at sino ba dapat yung mahuli? So that's when we are going to use the order of operations. So to use the order of operations, we just have to follow a certain mnemonic. It is called GEMDAS. G pertains to grouping, E pertains to exponent, M multiplication, D division, A addition, and lastly S subtraction. This is also the same as PEMDAS with P being parenthesis or grouping. Another important concept when using this mnemonic is you have to apply it in the equation from left to right. So ibig sabihin, kapag mayroon kang isang equation, dapat tignan mo or i-apply mo yung GEMDAS from left to right of the given equation. Let's try a particular example. Suppose you have negative 1 plus 3 times the quantity 4 plus 8 divided by 2 squared minus 1 minus 7 plus 3. So the first thing that you have to look at is the grouping symbols. So in this case, we have two sets of grouping symbols. So isa yung nakaparentheses, tapos isa yung nakabrackets. So since nasa loob yung parentheses, than the brackets, papansinin muna natin yung nasa loob ng parentheses. So that being said, 4 plus 8 divided by 2 squared minus 1 yung una nating papansinin. So dun sa apat, sino ba yung may exponent? Because following GEMDAS, pagkatapos mong pansinin yung grouping symbol, exponent yung susunod. So alin ba dun sa apat yung may exponent? So it's 2 squared. Kaya yun yung una nating perform. So having said that, our equation would be negative 1 plus 3 times the quantity 4 plus 8 divided by 4 minus 1 minus 7 plus 3. So the next thing na dapat nating pansinin is multiplication, division, addition, subtraction. Pero since nauna yung multiplication at division bago sa addition at subtraction, tignan muna natin kung mayroong multiplication or division dun sa apat. So 4 plus 8 divided by 4 minus 1, merong division, 8 divided by 4. So yun yung uunahin natin. So having said that, our equation would be negative 1 plus 3 times the quantity 4 plus 2 minus 1 minus 7 plus 3. So the next thing na dapat nating pansinin, addition sa subtraction. So sabi ko kanina, dapat i-perform natin yung GEMDAS from left to right. So in this case, since nauna yung 4 plus 2, bago yung 2 minus 1, dapat unahin natin i-perform si 4 plus 2, then saka natin isusubtract yung 1 from the, from the answer of 4 plus 2. So having said that, the final equation or the next equation that we would have is negative 1 plus 3 times the quantity 5 minus 7 plus 3. So 4 plus 2 minus 1, 5 na yung pinalabasan nun. And then yung natira dun sa brackets, minus 7 plus 3. 
So another grouping symbol. So dapat unahin natin siyang i-perform bago yung ibang operations. So having said that, our, our next equation would be negative 1 plus 3 times 1. And then, the next thing we have to remember, again, multiplication and division bago addition and subtraction. So mauna natin i-perform si 3 times 1 bago yung plus negative 1. So the next equation would be negative 1 plus 3. And then, lastly, negative 1 plus 3 would give you the final answer of 2. So let's try another example. Suppose we have this equation. So ang una nating papansin ulit is yung grouping symbols. So in this case, we have two sets of grouping symbols again. Yung mga nakaparentesis, saka yung mga nakabrackets. And again, nasa loob yung mga nakaparentesis kaysa yung mga nakabrackets, kaya mas papansinin muna natin yung mga nakaparentesis. Notice also that this bracket here is independent of this bracket here. So ibig sabihin, pwede tayong mag-perform ng mga operations na nasa loob ng bracket na to, independent sa mga nangyayaring operations sa loob ng brackets na to. Kasi dalawang separate na grouping naman sila. So that's why we can perform 5.6 minus 2.3 in this bracket and 1 minus 4 in this bracket. Notice also yung difference sa prior example natin. Doon sa una kasing example, 2 squared. Na-perform natin agad yung 2 squared kasi isa lang yung naka-raise sa exponent. Isang term lang, si 2. Dito kasi, si 1 saka si negative 4, pareha silang naka-raise sa 2. So kailangan muna natin i-perform si 1 minus 4 bago ma-raise sa 2. Kasi dalawang terms yung naka-raise exponent. So having said that, the next equation would be negative 5 times negative 1.5 plus 1.1 times 3.3 divided by negative 3 squared minus 6. So again, following GEMDAS, ano yung mga sunod nating pwedeng i-perform? Sa bracket na to, here sa unang bracket, pwede nating i-perform yung multiplication kasi wala naman ng exponent, di ba? So, multiplication or division na lang. So from left to right, anong nauna? Multiplication or division? Multiplication. So it's negative 5 times negative 1.5. So yun yung una natin gagawin sa bracket na to. Sa bracket naman na to, anong sunod natin gagawin? E, exponent, kasi meron pang squared. So pwede natin i-perform si negative 3 being squared. So having said that, our equation would be 7.5 plus 3.63. So notice here, pinerform nyo na rin yung 3.3 um, times 1.1 kasi nakamultiply din naman sila. So kinalabasan, minultiply nyo to, then minultiply nyo to, kinalabasan 7.5 plus 3.63 divided by, pinerform to, yung naka-square, so 9 minus 6. Then lastly, addition, subtraction na lang natira. So obviously, sa unang bracket, you just have to add. Then sa second bracket, you just have to subtract. So that will give us 11.13 divided by 3. Giving us a final answer of 3.71. So that ends my lecture. And if you want more of these videos, you can visit the social media platforms of Expert Guides both in Facebook and YouTube. You can also enroll in the College Entrance Exam Online Review or Enrichment Programs in Math, Science, and English through the following contact numbers. Enroll now to avail early bird discounts. Thank you and stay safe.